Hi guys, welcome to Derive and again I'm Engineer HB at your service and we're going to answer a passport exam problems. Uh, and dito pa rin tayo at magdi-discuss ng chapter 6 which is a uh, topic of couplings and there's uh, still under the machine design. Pero bago tayo magsagot ng mga exam problems or sample problems, mag pre-review muna tayo ng mga formulas na ating gagamitin. So let us start. Okay, so we have a coupling assembly here which is composed of shaft and flanges and bolts. So sa mga tatanong, ano ba yung coupling? So the coupling is the assembly itself or itong isang buo na to. And the purpose of coupling, of course, is to connect these two shafts in order to have a power transmission. So meron siyang shaft, meron siyang bolt and flanges. So si flanges, pinagkabit siya using bolts. No? And syempre, nakadugtong na doon yung shaft natin. So we have three diameters that we're going uh, to be involved here on this topic of coupling. First is the DBC, which represents the bolt circle diameter. So ito yan, may broken lines, itong bilog na ito. So hindi magiging involved yung outside diameter nitong shaft, ay nitong uh, flange rather, kasi ang pinaka-effective diameter dito is yung bolt circle diameter dito. Uh, why? Kasi dito naka-attach yung mga bolts natin. Okay, so the second the diameter that is involved here is of course itong D. Uh, simpleng D lang or plain D uh, which represents the shaft diameter. Uh, uh, andito si shaft diameter kasi minsan sa mga board exam problems given si torsional stress ng shaft and syempre given din diameter ng shaft so doon makukuha natin yung torque which is the same for the wool assembly. So pag nawawala si torque at given yung stress ni shaft at yung diameter ni shaft, so we can get the torque that we can use on the other formulas. So that will be discussed later. And the third diameter that will be involved, so pangalawa si shaft diameter, una si bolt circle, pangatlo is itong small d which represents the bolt diameter. So si bolts ang ginamit to connect these two flanges Si flanges nga pala ay may kapal na thickness. So mamaya madidiscuss siya kung ba't kailangan ng kapal. So okay, so this is the front view and this is the side view. Okay, so ayan, na-discuss na natin. Siyempre kung may torque na in-apply dun sa coupling, siyempre may force yan. So the total transmitted load for the wool assembly as the formula of F is equal to 2T over DBC. So parang sa mga nakakaraang lang topic, F is equal to 2T over D. Ang kataon lang that your D is not your outside diameter of the flange but the effective diameter or the bolt circle diameter where the bolts are connected. And syempre ang tinutukoy dito na F is the total transmitted load. How about the load per bolt or the individual force per bolt? So basically, the load per bolt is only FB. Uh, that represents the load per bolt is equal to force or the total transmitted load divided by the number of bolts. So F over N, where N is your number of bolts. Kung may 1 million kang value ng torque for the whole assembly and the number of bolts on the assembly is 10, magkakaroon sila ng, uh, magkakaroon ng bolt individually ng 100,000 na force or load. So, ganun lang kadali. I-distribute mo lang yung total transmitted load sa lahat ng bolts or kung ilang piraso man sila. Okay. Siyempre, kung may torque, may force, at kung may force, of course, na i-stress yung pyesa natin or yung material natin. Unahin muna natin yung shear stress. Shear stress o yung pagkapunit. Uh, basically, you know that S is equal to force divided by area or stress is equal to force over area. And this is uh, on the shear stress per bolt. So that was FB. Kasi nga uh, per bolt. Per bolt siya. Huwag malilito. So that was per bolt. So uh, the force or load per bolt divided by pi over 4 d squared. Where is your uh, where your D, small diameter, diameter D, uh, represents the bolt diameter. So that was the shear stress per bolt. And syempre, kung may shear stress, meron din compressive stress or bearing stress on the flange. And that was uh, force over area again. SC is equal to FB or individual load per bolt divided by 
thickness times diameter. Kaya meron tayong thickness na involved dito. So parang bearing stress lang siya no? way back on the first chapter. Kaya ginamit si thickness ng flange. So of course, kung may shear stress, meron ding compressive or bearing stress. So okay. So kung meron naman tayong, uh, diniscuss natin yung load and the stresses, so meron naman tayong torque capacity. Torque is equal to FRN. So what is this F? So F, uh, syempre yung load times radius or your R times N. So parang para mas matandaan natin, way back on P6, we all know basically that torque is equal to force times radius. Anong nangyari lang dito, nilagyan mo lang ng N, which is your number of volts. And don't be confused, our F here is FB, not the total load F. Why? Kasi involves the number of volts. Pwede mo rin namang sabihin torque is equal to force or the overall force times mo lang ng radius. Hindi mo nata times yung number of volts kasi madodoble. Pero kung individual load per volt, ito siya, kailangan i-multiply mo siya ng number of volts para bumalik ka dun sa total number or total amount of force ng buong assembly times the radius or can be represented by dBc over 2. So, ganun lang kadali. Force times radius times the number of volts. Given that, the force is the force per volt or the individual load times radius. So, magiging dBc over 2 na siya kasi volt circle diameter ang given times the number of volts. So that torque capacity is for one concentric row. So ano yung meaning nun? So way back here, ang drawing natin is isang bilog lang. Isang set lang ng volts sa isang bilog. Pero itong drawing na to, meron siyang torque capacity of two concentric row. Meaning, et, kung ito yung number one mo na bilog, may number two ka dito. Ibig sabihin, ganong kahigpit or kailangang lagay na number of volts dito sa coupling assembly na ito. So parang napakalakas na pressure yung kinokontrol niya para maglagay ka ng two concentric rows of flange na yan. And of course, the torque capacity is just a summation of force or the individual load times radius times number of volt. No, parang ito lang din yan, kaso pinag-plus-plus. Kasi meron torque dito sa number one, may torque din sa number two. So parang naging nangyari diyan sa two concentric row that was first torque plus the second torque or the summation of F times radius or F times diameter volt circle divided 2 times the number of volts. Okay, so lagay na natin. So pwede nating sabihin uh, F B D B C divided 2 times N. So sa number 1 'yan. Tapos meron siyempre si number 2. So yeah. Hindi, natin, hindi tayo pwede mag-factor out dito. Why? Kasi iba-iba yung force dyan. Depende sa bilang ng volts. Depende sa volt circle. Of course, magkaibang volt circle niyan. So bakit pa tayo nag-2 concentric row kung para siyang ng volt circle diameter? Kung pwede mo na i-factor out dyan yung 2. Pero... All parameters are different from each other. So that was the torque capacity for the two concentric row. And for the power transmitted, dula naman siyang pinagkaiba sa shafting. The power is equal to torque multiplied by the shaft speed divided by some, uh, some constant. So take note for this na lang. That's already discussed on the previous chapters. And syempre, meron uh, some relationships between some parameters on the coupling. So itong relationship na to, given lamang na two concentric rows. Hindi siya single row, but two concentric row. Kaya siya may number one and number two. So naka-note dito yan. So itong first relation is uh, the relation of shear strain. So paling link, palitan ko lang. So that was the relation of shear strain. So shear strain, ito yan. Or ito. And the radial distances from the axis of the shaft. So, sounds big pero itong radial distances na, na, na binabanggit, ito lang yung radius. So, that was the first relationship. 
So the second relationship is the relation of shear stress. Of course, that was SS. SS. And the radial distances. So again, S over GR is equal to S over GR. So that was the relation of shear stress and the radial distances. Of course, kung magkaiba ng material ng bolt, which is medyo rare naman, so cancel na si G, which is the modulus of rigidity. Pero kung magkaiba ng materiales at magkaiba ng gibe, uh, may dalawang value na given ng modulus of rigidity sa problem, of course, syempre hindi yan cancel. Okay, so that was the first two relationships. So para mas madali, lagyan mo lang ng ganito. Ayan. Ay, teka. Ibang, ano yun? Ibang symbol. Ayan. Ayan. Tapos, ayan. So, ilagay mo lang ng 1 is equal to 2. Ayan. So, for the second naman, tandaan mo lang lagi na uh, S over GR. Ayan. So, ito naman, the third relationship is the relationship of shear force and radial distances from the axis of the shaft. So, ito na yung force per load kanina or the, to, the overall force. So, ito yung relationship niya. F over R ng first uh, circle is equal to F over R ng second circle. Okay, so ganyan lang kasimple. So, that was the formulas overall. And alika, uh, answer na natin ito mga problems. So I will read the first question. A flange bolt coupling has 10 steel 25.4 mm diameter bolts evenly tightened around a 415 millimeter bolt circle. Determine the torque capacity of the connection if the allowable shearing stress in the bolt is 50 megapascal. So the question is looking for the torque capacity of the connection, meaning ang tiyutukoy dyan, the total torque of the assembly, which is uh, we all know that torque is equal to force times radius or force times bolt circle diameter divided to because radius is a half of the diameter times the number of bolts. Given that, of course, your force here is not your overall force. It is the, the individual load. Okay. So, ano-ano nga ba yung mga given? Sabi, a flange bolt coupling has 10 steel 25.4 mm. So, our number of bolts Pagagawin ko na lang n to. So our number of bolts is 10. So para, hindi, sige, para hindi malito, lagyan ko ng B dito. Kasi yung sa power formula nga pala, ang pagkakatanda ko, small n yung ginamit ko dun. Tama ba? O, oh, tama, small n. So lagyan ko na lang to, number of bolts is NB. Para hindi malito. So NB is equal to 10. Sabe, and the diameter is 25.4 mm. So that was the diameter of the bolt. Evenly tightened around a 415 volt circle. So that was the DBC. Determine the torque capacity. If the allowable shearing stress in the bolt is 50 megapascal. The bolt is 50 mega. Pascals. So, kung sa mga given na ba ito, makukuha na natin yung torque. So, meron DBC. So, DBC solved. May number of bolts. Ang kulang na lang natin is yung individual load per bolt. So, how are we going to get that FB in order for us to get the answer for the torque? So, as I said earlier on the formula, kaya given yung shop diameter, Tama, uh, shaft diameter is dahil given itong shearing stress of the bolt. Or uh, rather, the bolt diameter. So, we all know that in order to get this FB, meron naman tayong formula nung uh, shearing stress ng bolt. And we all know that the shearing stress of the bolt is FB divided by area, which is pi over 4 d squared. Sakto, given yung diameter ng bolt, which is 25.4 mm or almost 1 inch. Then, ayan, pwede natin kunin si FB para dito. So, SS is 50 Newton per square millimeter 
is equal to FB divided by pi over 4 times 25.4 squared. So that was mm squared. Cancel yung mm squared ng matitira mo newtons. So your FB is in newtons. So get your calculator 50 times 0 0.25 pi times 25.4 squared. So the answer is 25,335. 0.37 newtons. Okay, so ayan, simple, uh, ay direct substitu substitution na dito. So our torque will become uh, 25, 335.37 newtons times dBc over 2. So that was 415 by 2 mm times number of volts which is 10 so the answer is 5,250,000 so the answer is 5 million 250 tama ba? Ah, mali. 52 million pala so ganun kalaki 52 million 570,900 Newton mm. But this is not the final answer yet. The multiple choices are looking for kilonewton meter in unit. So just divide it by 10 raised to 6 para maging uh, kilonewton meter. We all know that uh, 1 kilonewton meter is equal to 10 raised to 6 Newton mm. Kasi 1,000 times 1,000 yan. Eh. Kaya naging 10 raised to 6. So the answer is 52.57 kilonewton meter. So, tingnan nyo nga, guys, kung may choices, ay, may answers sa choices. So, ayan. So, the answer is letter B, ang pinakamalapit. Kasi so, for agad to it. So, the answer is letter B. Okay, so that was for the first question. So the second question is, if flange coupling has an outside diameter of 200 mm and connects two 40 mm shafts, there are four 16 mm bolts on a 140 millimeter board circle. The radial flange thickness is 20 mm. If the torsional stress in the shaft is not to exceed 26 megapascals, determine the shearing stress in the bolt. So, the problem is looking for the shearing stress in the bolt. So, kung ito yung assembly mo. So, nyari na lang, bilog yan. Okay. Tunch coupling has an outside diameter of 200 mm. And connects to 40 mm shaft. So, this is your 40 mm shaft. So, yan yung shaft. There are four 16 mm bolts. So, kunyari, andito yung bolt circle diameter natin. So, meron daw apat. Yan. 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 At yung diameter niya raw ay... May iba ba? Ayan. So, there are four 16 millimeter bolts. 16 millimeter bolts. Four. Apat na piraso daw. So that was 16 mm on a 140 millimeter bolt circle. So meaning, ang bolt circle is 140. So sa kabila ko na lang i-drawing. Burayin na natin itong outside diameter kasi hindi naman siya laging uh, involved. So that was for the 140 mm. Sige, drawing na nga natin. Ayan, 200 mm. So that was the drawing. Hindi ko na the drawing side view for the flange thickness. So determine the shearing stress in the bolt. So the shearing stress in the bolt is individual load divided by area per bolt, meaning area of the bolt pi over 4 d squared. So, meron naman tayong given na diameter ng board which is uh, 16 mm. Ang kaso, wala tayong uh, 
what you call that, uh, the individual load per volt. So, ito lang yung hahanapin natin. So, paano natin mahanap ito? So, merong given na torsional stress in the shaft of 26 megapascal. So, we all know that the torsional stress for the shaft is 16T over pi D cube. So, bakit kailangan natin si torsional stress ng shaft? Kasi doon natin makakuha yung torque. And in order for us to get on this FB, which is the individual load per volt, we all know that the torque of the assembly is equal to force times radius or force times dBc divided 2 times the number of volt. Provided that your F here is individual load per volt. So, pag nakuha natin si torque, makakuha natin si FB. Kasi meron tayong given na dBc, which is 140, and number of volt, volts, which is 4. So, yan. Nain muna natin si, si shaft stress. So, nabulul na, no? Shaft, si shaft stress. So, ang torsional stress in the shaft is 26 megapascals is equal to 16T over pi d cube. So, the pi d cube. So, pi d cube. So, that was the shaft diameter, not the bolt diameter, which is 40. So, our torque here is 26 times pi times 40 cube by 16. So, that was 326. So, 40 cube, uh, 40 mm to. So, 40 cube. So, cancel yung isang, ay, yung dalawang mm. So, magkakaroon ng mm here cross multiply so the answer is in newton mm so the torque is 326,725 newton millimeter so 26 times pi times 40 cube divided 16 okay 326,725 uh, 0.64 newton mm so, ayan. So, since meron na tayong torque, pwede natin makuha si FB. So, lika. 326.725.64 is equal to, so, Newton mm yan, is equal to FB times dBc over 2. So, that was 140 divided to mm times the number of volts, which is unit less. So, that was 4 volts. So, cancel si mm. Ang matitira, FB is in newtons. So, that was... Uh, wag mo na burayin yung nakuha mong torque kanina sa calc u. Times mo ng 2. Cross multiply, di ba? Divide mo ng 140. And divide mo si 4. So, the individual load per volt, volt is 1,166.88 newtons. So, we're going to get the shearing stress per volt. So, that was... SS is equal to 1166.88 newtons divided by pi over 4, 16 squared. So that was mm squared. So newton per mm squared is megapascals, kagaya ng nasa choices. So the final answer is 5.803 or 5.8 megapascals. So meron ba siya sa choices? 8.5, 5.8, 6.5, 7.5. Ayun, walang nagka-muka sa choices. So, malinaw, the answer is B, 5.8 mega pascals. Okay, okay. So, enough tayo. Second question. Proceed tayo sa third question. A flange coupling having an inside or outside diameter of 190 millimeter connects to 40 mm shops. There are three 16 mm bolts on a 134 millimeter bolt circle. The radial flange thickness is 20 mm. If the torsional stress in the shaft is not to exceed 30 megapascals, determine the power that can be transmitted at 900 RPM. So the question is looking for the power that can be transmitted. Apala guys, just a little reminder that uh, after reading the question, wag mo muna ilista yung mga given. Ilista mo muna kung ano yung hinahanap. Kasi mamaya, uh, lalo na sa board exam, maliit lang scratch, nilista mo lahat ng given. Pero dalawa o tatlo lang pala yung kakailanganin doon. So, the first thing to do is to look for the specific uh, 
question o kung ano ba talaga yung hinahanap ng tanong. Anyway, ang binabanggit dito is determine the power that can, uh, can be transmitted at 900 RPM. We all know that kapag involve ang RPM at hinahanap ang power, the formula is power is equal to torque. Bakit ang letter E? Torque multiplied by the shaft speed. Hindi yan number of volts. No? Kaya ako naglagay ng B kanina. Sorry for the confusion for the previous slides. Dapat naglagay ako ng uh, suffix na B dun sa number of volts. Pero syempre hindi naman kailangan si number of volts agad sa power. So this N, small n, talks about the RPM or the shaft speed. Power is equal to torque multiplied by N divided by constant. So ang mga given ay mm Matic, this is a metric unit. Your constant is 9.549 times 10 raised to 6 given that your torque is in Newton mm, your shaft speed is in RPM, at magkakaroon ka ng power in kilowatts. So yun lang yung hanap. So meron na tayong given na shaft speed which is 900 RPM. Inahanap na lang natin is yung torque ng wool assembly. So how are we going to get that? So dito na lalabas yung pag uh, susulat natin ng units. So the outside diameter of the flange is 190 so hindi kailangan. Connects two mm shafts. Okay, there are 316 millimeter millimeter bolts. So alam naman natin on the previous slide that the torque is equal to force individual load times dbc over 2 or the radius times the number of bolts. So, paano natin siya makukuha? So, meron din siyang given na torsional stress of the shaft. Ayan, given na naman si torsional stress ng shaft. So, that was 30 mega pascals. And we all know na kapag given yung shaft stress, syempre may torque dyan. Galing yan sa 16T over pi d cube. So, meron tayong given na shaft. Ang sabi kanina, connects to 40 millimeter shafts. So, that was 16T over pi divided by 40 cube. So, meron na tayong torque. Kasi yung torque na to ay same dito. Kung ano yung torque ng shaft mo, yun din yung torque ng flange mo. So, that was 30 times pi times 40 cube divided by 16. So, that was 376,991.12. Newton mm. So pwede natin siya ipasok sa power. Diba kaya sabi ko kanina, basahin mo muna yung whole question, then look for the uh, mismong tinatanong, then syempre nabasa mo naman yung question, hindi mo na kailangan sulat lahat ng given. Unless kailangan lahat. Kaya nga sabi ko, basahin muna at hanapin yung mismong tinatanong. And syempre dito pa lang nakalap na natin yung torque kasi given yung shaft stress, so pwede natin siya ipasok dito. So, power is equal to 376.991.12 times RPM 900 divided by 9.549 times 10 raised to 6. So, your power will be... So, your power will be... 376991.12 Bago na buray na kuha mong torque kanina. Store mo na lang. Times 900. Divided by 9.549 times 10 raised to 6. So the answer is 35.53 kilowatts. So yeah. So the answer is N, letter A. 35.53 kilowatts. And another reminder, guys, is that uh, beware dito sa medyo magkakamukhang figure. No, kasi sa isang tingin mo, pwede mong bawa masulyapan mo si C. Pero yan, 33. Tapos may 5. So parang the same, di ba? So be careful din sa pagbabasa ng mga choices. So that was letter A, 35.53 kilowatts. Okay, so the fourth question is, a flange bolt coupling uli consists of 6 12 mm diameter steel bolts on a bolt circle 300 mm in diameter. 4 12 mm diameter steel bolts on a concentric bolt circle 200 mm diameter. 
what torque can be applied without exceeding a shearing stress of 70 megapascal in the bolts? So the question is looking for what torque can be applied without exceeding a shearing stress of 70 megapascals in the bolts. So this is the case of a two concentric kasi may dalawang given na bolt circle which is your 300 and 200 mm. So uh, drawing natin yung ano, flange. So kunyari ito yung shaft. Litan lang natin. So a flange bolt coupling consists of 6 12 mm. So sabihin na natin, ito yung pangalawa kasi mas malaki yung bolt circle niya. So sabihin natin pangalawa. So maglagay tayo na dalawa dyan. Yeah. So this uh, pertains, this one and two pertains to the number of the uh, ball circle. So unahin muna natin nasa labas. On a ball circle, 300 mm in diameter. So kunyari siya yan. Parang donut lang no. So that was 300 mm. 300. 300 mm. So lagay na natin dito DBC is equal to 300. So lalagay natin to na second. So sabi, a plunge bolt coupling consists of 612 mm. Uh, so sabi, 6 daw. So that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So sabi natin number of bolts is equal to 6. No? And the bolt circle 300 mm. So sinulot na natin kanina. And sabi, and 4, 12 mm diameter steel bolts on a concentric Circle of 200 mm. So, ito yon Mas maliit. So, ang sabi, apat daw. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, siya yung number 1. So, ang sabi, ang DBC daw is 200. So, that was 200. So, the number of bolts is equal to 4. Ah. So, sabi, what torque can be applied without exceeding a shearing stress of 70 megapascal in the bolts? We all know that in the concentric uh, uh, assembly, the total torque is the summation of force times radius or force, individual force times dBc over 2 times the number of bolts. So, that was equal to Fb dBc over 2 number of bolts for the first and FB again, DBC again, number of bolts again for the second circle. So parang pinag-plus mo lang yung torque kada uh, bolt circle. And good thing is given yung DBC and NB for each uh, number. So that was DBC and B for the 1 and DBC and B for the 2. So yung inaadap na lang natin is yung individual load per bolt. So how are we going to find this? So, meron tayong given or condition na without exceeding a shearing stress of 70 megapascals in the bolt. So, we all know that the shearing stress per bolt is 16T. Or wrong, uh, F over A. So, that was FB divided by pi over 4 D squared. So, given naman si D squared, ang sabi, 12 mm diameter steel bolts for 300 mm diameter. So, lagay natin. And sa 200 circle diameter, ang sabi, 4, 12 mm rin. So, that was 12 mm. So, ayun. Pwede natin makuha yung individual load per bolt. Kasi, meron na tayong diameter here and meron tayong stress that. So, ang tanong na lang dito ay pareho ba ng individual load per bolt sa number 1 sa number 2. So that's wrong. So uh, rather that's not the same. Way back on the last slide for the review of the formulas, meron tayo dong relationship na tatlo. And yung third relationship natin doon is uh, 
yung relationship ng force tsaka ng radius which is F1 over R1 is equal to F2 over R2. So, pwede rin naman natin sabihin F1 over D1 is equal to F2 over D2 kasi cancel naman yung 2 dyan mamaya for the radius is equal to diameter over 2. So, uh, assume na lang natin na how about this? So, kunin muna natin si 1. Kunyari si F1 muna yan. So, that was 70 is equal to F1 divided by pi over 4 d squared. So, that was 12 squared. So, dito ko na isusulat. So, our FB1 is equal to pi over 4 type first the denominator times 12 squared. So, cross multiply times mo siya 70. So, that was 7916.81 newtons. So, that was for the... So, medyo lagpas na pala tayo sa screen, no? Ay ayaw masulat. So, given na yan, newton na yan. So, 7916.81 newtons. So, pwede natin makuha yung F2 or the FB2. So, para walang malito, FB ko na lang lalagay. Yan. So, meron tayong F1. Of course, meron din tayong radius. Meron tayong second radius. And this is your FB2. So, the answer will, para makuha natin FB2. So, that was 7... 916.81 divided by first radius. So, pwede naman natin lagay si 200 na. Kasi nga, makancel din naman mamayang 2. Is equal to FB2. So, yun yung unknown. Divided by radius 2 which is 300. Divide 2. Uh, para hindi kayo malito, ayan. Kasi nga, radius is equal to D over 2, di ba? So, that was DBC over 2. So, cancel naman din si 2 kaya pwede natin erecta na diameter. So, our FB2 is, lagyan na nga natin dito, our FB2 is 7916.81 times 300 divided 200, so that was 11875.22 newtons. So, it is also in newtons. So, ayan, kompleto na. Meron tayong FB2 and meron tayong FB1. So, direct sub na lang. So, our torque is FB1. So, that was 7916.81 times DBC over 2. So, that was 200 over 2 times number of volts, which is sa number 1 tayo. Ah. Number 1 is 4. Ayan, 4. Plus, for the second setup, so that was... 11,875.22 times 300 over 2 times 6. So the total torque will become 7,916.81 times 200 divided 2 times 4. So that was 11,875.22 times 300 divided 2 times 6. So, ulit. 7916.81 times 200 times 2 or divide 2 times 4 plus So, the answer is uh, 13,852. Thirteen thousand eight hundred fifty-four four two two. So kapag dinibay natin ang ten raise uh one thousand yan kasi newton meters ang inaanap na newton mm. So that was thirteen point something. But the choices as you can see walang thirteen. Bakit? Kasi yun yung first condition natin kanina. Kasi inasum natin that this shear stress is for the first bolt circle which is FB1. Ngayon naman, para makita natin ang totoong sagot, 
i-assume naman natin yan that it is for the second. Right? So that was for the second naman. So burain lang natin to konti. So this is for number 2. So there uh, hindi no need na i-recompute kasi paras naman ng diameter ng bolt at ng shear stress so that was uh, become FB2 lang kanina dito. Ang kailangan lang natin burahin ay ito. Ayan. Okay, so mababakante yan. So ayan. So ito yung FB2. So hindi pa natin malalaman yung value ni FB1. So burahin mo na natin. So magkakatalo dito. So ang FB2 mo naman ang magkakaroon dito. So FB2 is 7916. 0.81 so your FB1 will become 7916.81 times 200 divide 300 so the answer is 5277.87 newton so that was I think FB1 mo 5277 Kapangit sulat natin, guys. 527.87. Tapos ang FB2 natin is 7916.81. Okay, so unay mo natin yung una. 5277.87 times 200 divide 2 times 4 plus 7916.81 times 150 kasi 300 divide 2 times 6. Ay, katama ba? Divisible to. Wait, wait. Maybe there's something wrong. So that was 796. Times 6 volts. 6 volts. Yes, tama. 6 to. So that was 6. So DBC is 300. Tama. So 7916.81. So dito tingnan natin ulit si FB2. Saan tayo nagkamali guys? Wait lang guys. Ah. So ang FB2 natin is 70 times pi divided by 4. Times 12 squared. So, tama. 7916.81. So, para makuha naman si FB1. Times 200. By 300. So, that was 5277. So, correct naman siya. So, that was 5277. Times DBC, which is 200. Divide 2. Times the number of bolts. Okay which is 4 and yung una tapos yung pangalawa is 7916.81 times 300 divided 2 times 6 so the answer is teka anong nangyari FB1. So, tama na ba yung kanina natin? Wait lang, guys. 7916.81 divided by 200 times 300. So, that was 11875 for the FB2. So, that was 300 times 6. That was the shift stroke A. So, that was 5, 2, So, ang mangyari, okay, so the answer is 5277.87 times 
times 200 right 2 times 4 so 7916.81 times 300 divided by 2 times 6 tama ba 6 na ba yeah so the answer is 9 million 236,277 Newton mm. Okay, so if I will divide this by 1,000, so that will become Newton meter. So that was become 9,236.28 Newton meters. Okay, so nandyan ba yung sagot? So wala. Teka, uh, tignan ko lang saan tayong kamali. Baka naman meron sa choices. 300 and 200. Again, give me time. Kunti lang. So that was for the FB2. Ulit, ulit. 7916.81. Okay, so the answer nga is 9,236.28. So, wala sa choices. So, ayun, wala sa choices. So, just uh, ask your uh, proctor here. Okay, so the final answer is 9,236.20. So yun, for the last question, a flange coupling having an outside diameter of 190 mm connects two 45 mm shafts. There are four 15 mm bolts on a 140 mm bolt circle. The radial flange thickness is 20 mm. If the torsional stress in the shaft is not to exceed a uh, 40 megapascals determine the compressive stress. Okay. So compressive stress. If the torsional stress in the shaft is not exceeded. So, determine the compressive stress. So, pag sinabing compressive stress, it is also your bending stress. And the compressive stress, we all know that SC is equal to FB or individual load per bolt divided by area. And your area is thickness times your bolt diameter. Excuse So, our thickness here, may nabasa ko kanina. So, that was the plunge thickness. 20 mm. So, so agad tayo sa thickness. And we have the bolt diameter, which is 15 mm. So, we are looking na lang for the individual load per bolt. So, how are we going to get this? So, ayan, meron naman tayong given na torsional stress of the shaft, which is 40 megapascals. So, that was 16 T over pi D cube. So, ang D cube natin or shaft diameter is 45 mm. So, that was cube. So, our torque will be. So, kaya natin kinukuha yung torque kasi we all know that torque is equal to force individual load times the BC over 2 times the number of bolts. So, makakuha natin si FB through this torque. So, kailangan makakuha natin si torque through the shaft diameter. So, that was 40 times 45 cube times pi divided by 16. And that is 750. 15,694.07 Newton mm. So, direct sub na natin dito. Guys, 715, 694.07 is equal to FB times DBC over 2. So, that was 140 mm here. Times the number of bolts, which is sabi, 4. 
So our FB here is two five five six. Parehas ba tayo guys? Point zero five newtons. So our SC will become two five five six point zero five divided by uh twenty times fifteen sa ilalim as your area compressed. So that was. 8.52 mega pascal. So, meron bang answer? So, 5.82 to 5.58. So, letter C. Ayan, 8.52 mega pascal. So, the answer is letter C for the item number 5. Okay. So, ayan. That was the answer for the number five. Okay, so ayan. So that's enough for the coupling design. Uh, medyo nalungkot lang ako dahil walang answer dun sa number four. But I will clarify that and I will put on the comment section and or my FB page if, uh, what's wrong there. Pero yun, nangyayari nga minsan yun kapag walang sagot sa choices. Just tell your proctor. Pero overall, nakapagsagot naman tayo ng maraming items for the coupling design. Nakapag-discuss pa tayo ng formulas. And I hope natuto kayo guys at na-refresh. And ayun, just... Uh, ayun lang. Itutok lang kayo sa mga paparating pa nating i-upload na videos for the machine design. Siyempre, meron din tayong mat and power plant sa mga susunod na panahon. And ayun, salamat sa pagsama sa akin today, guys. Uh, ayun. Uh, see you. Uh, see you again on the next videos. Good luck and God bless sa inyong review. Bye-bye. Thank you.